Rostock is on the River Varno. The shuttle bus will drop you off on Langerstrasse, which is just opposite the river. And if you walk along and turn right, you'll find yourself at the market. The cruise map suggests a tour starting at St Mary's Church, so we're going to turn left down Kropolina Strasse past CNA. As you walk down the road, there's some little gems. Look at these beautiful carvings. Several beautiful buildings are built around this square, including the main university building built in 1870 in Italian Renaissance style. And opposite is this wonderful fountain. And opposite the fountain is tourist information. This is called the Fountain of Joy, and you can see why. I like Rostock, it's really charming. As you walk down from the shops towards the church, even the Santander Bank has got a beautiful doorway. St Mary's Church is the most beautiful church in Rostock. It has the astronomical clock, which is quite amazing. It was built in 1398, but collapsed and then was completed Gothic style 50 years later. It doesn't matter which way you look, it has incredible features. And the stained glass window above the door is incredible. It has a beautiful bronze font. The most important feature is this astronomical clock and volunteers come in every day to wind it up and oil it. And there's a retired professor that lives in Rostock who knows every single part of this clock. A stone's throw from St Mary's Church is the Market Square. Surrounded by colourful houses, the Rat House, the Town Hall, consists of three houses, which now has a Baroque facade. The Kirchhoff House behind the Town Hall is arguably the most beautiful gabled house in Rostock. This fountain is a good place to remember as a focus point because having done one, two and three, you walk back down Kropolina Strasse to find number four. So to get our bearings, church, fountain, university, history museum. The History Museum was formerly in a convent and behind me is the Brewery House of the Nuns. The museum houses Dutch paintings, important archaeological finds, Rostock coins and many treasures. And it's surrounded by a seven metre protective wall with arrow slits. If you walk around the wall, you're heading towards number seven, Kropolina Tour, which is the largest of the gates. From the History Museum, we walked inside the walls, down the cobblestones, towards Kropolina Tour, which is opposite a shoe shop with a sail on, just saying, which houses the history exhibitions. We're now going to do a return walk along the walls, through the park, Wallenegum Park, towards Steintor. 
You can see how Rostock was a fortified city on a hill. I'm tempted to say that if I was planning this tour, I would have started at number seven, gone to the History Museum, onto the university, and then to the church. It would have been much less walking. So we walk down through the park, past this gorgeous Stander House to Steintour Gate. Walk through the gate because it's far more impressive from the inside. So clearly signposted, we walk down to St Nicholas and St Peter's Church. This is St Nicholas's Church. Unfortunately, it's closed, so we can't have a look inside. But I can tell you they're making 13 and a half kilowatts of electricity from their solar panels. The spire of St Peter's Church is visible from St Nicholas's Church, so it's easy to get here. And you walk along some very beautiful back streets on the way. If you fancy a walk, it's 196 steps to the top. 190, 91, 92, 193, 194, 195, 196. Oh, God. No, actually, I came in the lift. I cheated. The spire is 385 feet high. It's recently restored and it has great views all over Rostock. Look at those coloured houses. You can see St Mary's Church from here, which I think is by far the most beautiful. If you do visit St Peter's Church, go up in the lift, it's a great view, but don't forget to go into the church to see the unusual collection of ships hanging from the ceiling. From St Peter's Church you can just stroll down to the harbour and sit at one of these restaurants and just enjoy the view. Along the marina in Rostock you'll find boats that are converted into shops and restaurants. Hello, how much is a ticket to Vanamunde? It's 12 euros but you actually buy them on board so it's 12 euros one way to Vanamunde. We've had a lovely morning in Rostock, it's charming and what better way to finish than with a beer overlooking the harbour. Please subscribe to our channel.